called uh, or you've said that Liz Truss is in denial. Did you hear anything from her this morning? I don't know how much you've you've had a chance to listen to those interviews she did with BBC local radio stations. Did you hear anything to steady the nerves? Not really. I mean, that, that's what I mean. It doesn't seem like she's taking the situation seriously. And, and obviously, from our perspective, what matters is, is households, you know, how we're going to um, get through the winter, but also next year in terms of, um, you know, fast increasing household debt, prices going up because the pound is falling, cost of imports increasing, mortgage rates rising. How, how's she um, taking it, though? You, know, you, you say you don't think she's taking it seriously. How do you think she is taking it then? The situation. I mean, she, she's kind of doubling down on the budget. She's not saying that there's anything wrong with it. She's not talking about getting the OBR to publish its forecasts. Um, you know, if, if if she was kind of reckoning with what's going on, she would be making those statements, potentially even thinking about, um, you know, shifting the, the budget sooner, even thinking about a new chancellor, maybe in a new approach. Um, I don't think she quite um, you know, seems to realise that, yeah, that the Bank of England is going into emergency mode because of that crisis in confidence and the knock-on impact that will have on households. And I think what was most concerning to hear is her trying to divert the conversation, saying, you know, they've done the, the energy support. Yes, some of that has obviously been critical, but it hasn't been enough. And rather than these absolute huge tax cuts for the wealthiest, what she could have been doing is using that money to to kind of make things easier for the, the households that are struggling the most. Obviously, the cost of energy is still going up. And with the pound crashing, it's going to go higher and higher, um, as will the, the cost of food. Um, so it is really concerning. You know, the Bank of England stepping in, going into its its uh, mandate of protecting financial stability, um, you know, is buying the government time. But unless they actually get to grips with what's happening and what could potentially happen in the mortgage market in uh, in terms of financial stability for the UK economy, then things, you know, um, could get a lot worse.